We begin this half hour with a cunning plot by a brutal killer to escape from death row, foiled by the authorities. Krista Pike was the youngest woman ever to be sentenced to death in the U.S. and plotting her escape, authorities say she proves she can seduce men into doing whatever she wants. ABC Steve Osinsami has much more in Atlanta. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Robin. She was running out of appeal, so the death sentence was waiting for her, and she was desperate to get out. She has a short fuse. That's the reason why she's sitting on death row. She likes to cut. So who in the world would try to help set her free? Turns out she found boyfriends while sitting in jail. She's one of the most dangerous women in America, and he was the man who fell in love with her. Together, police say they hatched an elaborate plot to break her out of prison where she sits on death row. Authorities have arrested this man, Donald Cohut, a 34-year-old from Flemington, New Jersey, who had been making regular trips to Tennessee's death row and became the boyfriend of Krista Pike, a cold-blooded killer. In 1995, she used a box knife to slash the throat of a friend she thought was flirting with her lover. Krista Pike is a fairly notorious killer in the state of Tennessee. She has been on death row since 1996. Her relationship with Kohut began early last year with love letters like these, which she sent to the different men in her life, telling them, you bring out the best in me and I want to lick your soul. Police have also arrested 23-year-old Justin Heflin, one of Pike's guards, on death row. They say he accepted bribes from her boyfriend. We know that he gave him things like a canoe and a Gibson guitar and some cash. Their alleged plan was to copy keys to prison doors by making paper tracings. Other guards found those tracings in January before Pike could make her daring escape. Desperate people try desperate things. Um, when you have nothing else to lose, Sometimes you'll just try anything. Without question, the woman they're accused of trying to set loose is a vicious killer. In 2001, she tried to kill again. In jail, she nearly strangled Patricia Jones, a fellow inmate, and was convicted of attempted murder. She's had sweethearts all across the country. We met one of them overnight. Eric Gein from Jacksonville, Florida, first started exchanging these letters with her in 1997. And he says they were actually engaged in 2002. She told me things I wanted to hear. You know, she would write me and tell me, Eric, I love you. I'm going to be with you. You know, come up here and marry me. He says she never asked him to help her escape, but says she wrote about it all the time. She would always make hints and, and say things about wanting to leave leave the prison and go to Jamaica or go to the islands. I'm sure this guy up in New Jersey, I'm sure she flattered him and got him to the point to where he's going to go to prison now for, for her. This morning, her current boyfriend is still in custody in New Jersey, but they're waiting for him in Tennessee, hoping that he'll be extradited any day now.